In any 3D scene, there are a few building blocks that can contribute to its success. You know, good lighting, good materials, and so on. But one thing that I think is usually overlooked is atmospheric effects and the atmosphere itself. While atmosphere isn't the most important element, it does contribute quite a lot to your scene, especially if it is an outdoor scene or environment. That's why you probably need the atmospheric add-on developed by Light Architect, who's behind the Kaios add-on, City Builder 3D, Spiderfy, Horde, and so on, all of which are great add-ons in their respective right. The atmospheric add-on allows you to add animated and highly detailed, also easy to use atmosphere elements, and you can do this in a perfect way in your scene. It can be great for filmmakers, VFX artists, and if you are a 3D artist in general. If you want to add some steam to your work, then this add-on is going to be for you. And it offers 50 plus elements divided into four categories. Whether you are making a dingy alleyway or a cyberpunk cityscape, or maybe a crashed spaceship or anything else in between, this add-on should help you achieve that extra level of realism with no processing cost. So, if you want to save time and make your scene look good, you can check Atmospheric by clicking the link in the description down below. But Atmospheric is only one of the add-ons we're gonna talk about today. For example, we have new add-ons for modeling, camera effects, camera tracking, and so on. Still around a similar topic, we have an add-on called Smokewish, which offers a collection of high-quality smoke elements, which includes 100 plus presets with 300 pre-rendered frames and 2K resolution. So these aren't gonna be taxing your system performance-wise. From what I can see, they are lightweight and they don't require a ton of RAM. However, the add-on also offers VDB elements, which are much more detailed and offer higher quality. However, you might need more RAM to handle those, so you can have the full spectrum. The add-on also offers a ton of other elements like fire and more than 30 static clouds. Generally speaking, the interface is easy to understand. You just click the smoke you want to drop in your scene and there isn't much else to it. The devs offering a 50% discount for the first 100 people who get the add-on. So if you are interested, you might want to check it out. Now, I have a confession I want to make. Stop the music. I've been keeping this close to my heart for a long time, but I wanted to let it out guys. I don't know how to say this, but I don't like the bevel modifier. When it works, it really works, but when it doesn't, well, it makes me want to smash the monitor. I don't know why, but when the geometry becomes irregular or whatever, it randomly decides not to work. And this is the case for the control B bevel operator. Well, fear not because hard bevel is an add-on that will help you overcome this issue and it allows you to apply bevel to more irregular angle shapes such as the ones you see here. You can bevel any selected face or edge. Just go to the edit mode and left click at the bottom to find the hard bevel operator. You can further adjust the parameter at the bottom left window with bevel size and threshold to prevent close edges from overlapping and merge vertices if they are close enough in addition to other stuff. But if you don't want to pay for the hard bevel add-on, the developer Koshiro CG already created a free add-on which functions very similar to this one and it is called Soft Bevel. In fact, it's gonna be less accurate in some cases, but it should get you started. But if you want something better and more accurate, you have hard bevel at your disposal. Next up, we have Smartify Nodes which is a way to add environment effects on top of your PBR materials like moss, snow, dust, sand, water puddles, edgeware, and much more. It works easily by dragging and dropping one of these smart effects in the library and drop it on any of your materials. Or you can use these effects and nodes as building blocks to create your own smart materials. The library is also compatible with the Assets Browser and it works like magic. You just pick an effect, put it in the Materials Node Editor. By the way, all the nodes are labeled and color-coded so you shouldn't feel lost at all. The library honestly has a ton of stuff like leaking masks, puddle effects with a lot of control over specular, roughness, muddiness, and all these settings are intertwined so if you alter one of them, the changes should trickle down to the other maps like if you painted an image, mask, or vertex color, etc. There is also a random per object mode to add variation per object. 
in addition to a local mask node, also displacement decal, a power and versatile decal node, and a ton of other stuff that you can check by following the link in the description down below. Now, have you ever tried to render a scene and Blender was like, no, out of memory? Well, if you see a doctor, he would probably say something along the lines of you need to install a camera calling add-on and take your antidepressants regularly after what you went through. Alright, probably you don't need antidepressants, but I'm sure you will need an add-on called Camera Call Pro. This free real-time calling solution allows you to save both time and computer resources by automatically removing any geometry outside of the bounds of your 3D camera. I mean, no one is gonna see it, so why do you need it? This add-on can even remove geometry which is hidden behind other objects. So, for instance, if you have a building, and behind that building there is, well, buildings, the add-on is able to discern based on the camera position which building to remove and which one to keep. I know it sounds complicated, but it is really easy. An add-on like this could have saved me a lot of time and headaches. On top of that, it is free, so you don't have any reason not to use it. Now, let me ask you a question. Are you tired of using camera tracking in Blender? Are you constantly dealing with bad tracking? And finally, do you wish Blender tracking was simple and less tedious? Well, Flux Tracks promises all the above and more. The animal will add trackers and adjust motion tracking settings. In addition to processing the entire footage, also it will resolve the tracked footage, automatically remove for trackers, apply filters, and attempt to get you the best camera solve. So where do I sign? If you try this add-on and give it a shot, it should save you a ton of time and headache instead of doing everything yourself manually. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.